Hey, good morning, guys. Welcome back to our off-grid homestead. But wait a minute, we are off of the homestead. Why are we off the homestead? We're here with Jeremy from Living the Dream Homestead. Hey, guys. And uh, what do you got for us? We're doing a deal in the Home Depot parking lot. <laughs> Feels kind of like some back market, black market stuff. But That's right. I got some chickens for you guys. All and right. Rooster. Chickens and a rooster. So what do we got in here? What kind of chickens? So we've got the roosters of Buckeye. The yellow ones are are uh, Buff Orpingtons. Buff Orpingtons? Orpington, yeah. Orpingtons, Orpington. okay. And then the white one here and the one in the back with the white uh, earlobe. Okay, that, yeah. Those two are um, leghorns. One's a white leghorn, the other one's, I think it's called a dark leghorn. I forgot to ask her that one. Um, We've got some Polish in here. We've got a speckled Polish or... Are those the ones with the fluffy heads? The fluffy heads, yeah. Okay. Yep. And then we've got some salmon favorels, the kind of hawk-like looking one to the right there. Right, the one right here up against the wall? Yep, there's like, I think three okay. or four of those in there. Okay, cool. And, and those guys, they're great egg layers. Plus they're hardy birds for the winter too. We're up in our, our oh, region yeah? up here. Okay. Yeah, we wanted to go with a lot of hardier birds that can make it through the winter. Yeah. Right. So any advice for first time chicken owners? <laughs> Um, keep them fed. Okay. Keep them cooped up when you first get them home. I'd keep them cooped up for a couple days at least. Okay. Don't let them out. I mean, depending on how well your fencing is, they'll, they'll put it to the test. Okay. So I would keep them in the coop for at least a day or two uh -huh. so they get used to laying in that spot and they know where to lay. And then you could let them out in your, in your run. They should go right back in once they know where, where their box is. Yeah. What but, time should we open the thing and close it? The... That's up to you, okay. honestly. I mean, I ours are growing first thing in the morning, but first thing in the morning, I'm not, I'm not out there letting them out. I, I usually wait till it's sun up, and then I let them all out at once. Okay. Um, but if you've got an automatic door, I saw you, were, you guys were talking about putting an automatic <laughs> door in there. That's a great idea. I wish we had one. Um, that would be a good way to do it. We like to keep them cooped up so that we can go in there and kind of do a head count. But <laughs> it's tough when they're ready to get out. Yeah. But I'd let them out as early as you can. It's, it, it's up to you guys. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's see, what else? Um, diatomaceous earth. Hmm. Get that in, it, if you're getting your food from in, from like the local guys, they usually have that sort of stuff built into the, the diet for them, but it doesn't hurt to have a little bit out there. Oyster shells are always good. That'll help make your shells hard and strong because we've had a case where they were not strong and it was because we weren't giving them enough oyster shells. Okay. So they'll eat those all day long. And uh, we free feed ours. So some people, they give a certain amount and they let them pick and, and forage. We kind of do a little bit of both. We, we free feed them, we throw hay out with the grains, and we also let them just forage. So it's really up to you guys. Parking lot chicken deal going on here. <laughs> The chickens are safe in the back of the car. Thank you very much, Jeremy. Not a problem, guys. My pleasure. If you guys haven't yet checked out their channel, I will put a link down in the description below. Go ahead and check them out. Subscribe to their channel and uh, give them some encouragement for what they're doing on their homestead. They were also featured on Homestead Rescue Season 6. Episode 10. Episode 10. So Idaho Death Trap. That's what it's called? That's what it's called. Idaho All right. Death Trap. So go check out the Idaho Death Trap if you have access to uh, the previous episodes. Hey, 
that's for the chickens, pal. All right, so we got to get the chicken coop ready for the chickens. They're still in the car right now. This is their um, feed. This is for layers. It's a non-GMO feed here from a local food store. So put it in the feeder here. And so since we're going right. to keep them in here for a couple of days, we're going to use some good uh, bedding for the bottom of the bottom of the chicken coop here. I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And this is basically to um, like absorb all the waste, right? So it doesn't just destroy the floor. I don't know if you noticed, but the floor's painted. Probably saw Seth painting it in an earlier video. Yeah, looks nice. Yeah. All right. How do you think this is gonna work, Jules? Awesomely. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I think they'll spread it all around. What do you think, Seth? Probably. They'll probably just make it go all crazy. And then later, when we let them out in a couple of days, depending on how bad it is in here, we can rake this stuff out, put it in the compost pile, and then our chickens will help us make good compost for the garden. Oh, yes, the rooster, it's so big. Here, what if I just open it? Oh, no, okay. Wow. Okay. Uh -huh. Come on, chicky chickies. Come on. There you go. Keep going. Keep going. Come on. Come on. <laughs> there, there we go. <laughs> Welcome to your new home. Oh, well, you already put oh, look at, they're already getting up in their boxes. <laughs> They like their new home, Marty. <laughs> yeah. And the rooster's already eaten. The rooster's found the food. <laughs> the hens found the laying boxes. Oh, welcome home, guys. <laughs> anything? Anything? Nothing yet. Come on, guys. Hurry up. Egg a day or it's the axe. Don't forget. <laughs> All right. You got 15 minutes to give me an egg. You guys hurry up. Huh? Huh? Anything? Nothing. Just testing out the waters, huh? All right. If you want to see more about what's going on here on our homestead, there is a video right over here that you'd probably like to check out. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a really great day. Keep smiling, and we'll see you over in that video in just a second.